Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the creator of Spelunky. For Spelunky 2, I wanted to make sure we made something that got old fans excited and also brought in new players. It was important we didn't change the things that made Spelunky such a unique experience in the first place. So many people became fans of the game through their friends and family, and even strangers on the internet. That's one reason why we're adding online multiplayer, so that more people can play the game together. And I also wanted to include that feeling of community into Spelunky 2 itself to make sure that the game felt welcoming even though it's difficult. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll also be building an in-game community and family. I designed the world of Spelunky 2 to feel much more rich and dynamic than Spelunky 1. It's gonna feel a lot more full. Players will be able to explore and interact with it in lots of new ways. For example, you'll be able to ride turkeys, and find hidden passageways, and you'll have to choose between branching paths as you make your way deeper into the caves. As a result, the stories players create will have much more texture to them. Even after many, many hours of playing, I still have interesting runs that don't even go past the first area. In Spelunky 1, runs often centered around the shops and how you chose to interact with them. So in Spelunky 2, we've expanded the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. And also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. Given how amazing the Spelunky community is, it's hard to say how long it will take to find the deepest secrets. But I think the great thing about Spelunky is that the deepest secrets are the ones that even I don't know about. And there are lots of new things to play with that I hope players can use to push past the boundaries of what we, as the developers, know about the game. I have two types of favorite stories from Spelunky fans. First are when people are genuinely surprised by something that happened in the game. And second, the ones where people shared a fun experience with friends and family in multiplayer. These are the stories I wanted to expand upon in Spelunky 2. They're really what guided my design choices. After releasing Spelunky, I knew there was a lot more that could be done with the concept in the world. Knowing that possibility was out there is what's been exciting for me and the rest of the team. In a lot of ways, when Spelunky 2 comes out, I want players to experience what we experienced making it. That feeling that there's something special there waiting for you to discover it. A big thanks to the fans who've waited patiently for us to finish Spelunky 2. It's been a long journey, but I think it's going to be worth it. Thanks.